Hello friends, welcome again to the world of Maths by Ami. So this one is just single video multiple concept. It's a question of time and work, but it has more than one concept. So the question is in front of you. Okay, this one is question. To do a work, A, B and C takes individually X, X plus 1 and X plus 4 days respectively. But working together, they took N days where N is remainder when 30, 137 raised to power 137 factorial is divided by 14. Then find X. Okay. So this is a question of multiple concepts. The data is given. We have A, we have B, we have C. A takes X days, B takes X plus 1 days, C takes X plus 4 days and together they are taking nothing but N days. Where N is nothing but remainder and 137 raised to power 137 factorial divided by 14. So first of all, it's a question of remainder theorem, then time and work. And we have a variable. It means it's a question of algebra. Why so? B takes one more days, C takes three more days. In any arithmetic question, if the mode with the number or the values comes more than one times, it's a question of algebra. Okay. So for the cyclicity, since it's the power and the third quotient, the cyclicity of 14 is 2 and the cycle, sorry, that is the factorized 14 in the 2 and 7. Cyclicity of 2 is 1, cyclicity of 7 is 6. So this LCM value is nothing but 6 and the 6 is nothing but the cyclicity of 14 in terms of remainder. We need to divide 137 by 14 and power by cyclicity. 137 is a bigger factorial. So we can say in 137 we have 2, we have 3, so we have 6. It means power is multiple of cyclicity. Power is multiple of cyclicity. And base is co-prime, so remainder is nothing but 1. So we have 1. So this is a question of remainder theorem. Now the question is, when x takes, a takes x days, efficiency is 1 by x, 1 day ka work, plus 1 day ka work, plus 1 day ka work, if they all 3 work for the 1 days, it's completed in 1 day. So this one is termed as what? Do you know what is the meaning of 1 by x, 1 by x plus 1, 1 by x plus 4? Four? In general, we call it Egyptian fraction. This Egyptian fraction hai, in which numerator is 1, numerator has some value. So, summation of 3 Egyptian fraction with assume the condition is integer number is equal to 1. So, this one is a concept of a perfect number. Summation of 3 Egyptian fraction different values is 1. So, perfect number. So, the least perfect number is 6. So we can say the factors of 6, 1 by 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 6 is equal to 1 by 1. So x is equal to 2 because a condition satisfies that, that is 2, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 4. So the integral or the one solution of this question, x is nothing but 2. But what happens if we do not have any integral solution or what happens if we need to solve this equation? So this equation to solve it, we take the value x. Here I will take LCM. But do not do all these things. The concept of three variable time and work question is just work on two variable in one side and the one variable in the other side. 1 minus 1 by x. So I have taken 1 by x in the RHS. Take the LCM. This one is nothing but x square plus 5x plus 4. The summation is nothing but 2x plus 5. And this one is x minus 1 upon x. So this side we have nothing but 2x square plus 5x. This side we have x cube, x plus 5x square. And we have nothing but 4x. With the minus 1, we have minus x square, minus 5x, minus 4. When we add, we have x cube plus 4x square, minus x, minus 4 is equal to 2x square plus 5x. We need to solve this equation. So take it above. We have nothing but x cube. 2x square comes here is nothing but 2x square. We have 5x comes here is nothing but minus 6x and minus 4 equal to 0. Now we need to solve this cubic equation. Now how to solve the cubic equation? No one knows how to solve the cubic equation. It means we have to work on some factorization since we have to work on the result. And this is time and work question. To koi bhi question setters time and work question ko bahut easily set karta hai. Arithmetic questions are damn easy to solve with the help of algebra. We need to work on the constant term. A constant term ko factorize karo. Constant term is 4. So the factor is plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4. 
99.99% chance hai you will get one roots from here minimum one roots from here ye dikhta hai because the product of roots should be here to ek roots to dikhega hi dikhega baki roots ka nahi pata if i put one i won't won't get zero if i put minus one i won't get zero but if i put two i am going to get zero because say eight plus eight minus twelve minus four is zero so one of the roots of this equation is nothing but x equal to 2 so we can say x minus 2 is a factor x minus 2 aapka factor hoga ab factorize karte hain we have x yahan pe x cube tha to x square to hoga hi hoga mera we got x cube minus 2x square and here plus 2 x square to plus 4x yahan pe hoga so this is plus 4x square jo kya dega now we have minus 8x i am looking for minus 6x so we have nothing but plus 2 equal to 0 from here we can say x is equal to 2 and x square plus 4x this one is plus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0 fine from here we get x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ab means minus 8 divided by 2 in general we do not take the minus sign in arithmetic because your negative to jata nahi hai so this one is nothing but minus 2 agar mai divide karunga plus root 2 is one of the solution so the one solution is x is equal to 2 for and another solution is minus 2 minus root 2 agar aap minus loge but arithmetic mein ye nahi jata hai so the concept behind this one is first is the remainder theorem second one is if integer you must know the egyptian fraction summation is one and the different somehow it's related to perfect number and how do we solve the cubic equation Never ever try solve this question from here only. Bhoat lamba calculation hoga. Take one x from the other side, simplify and work on the factors of the constant term. 99.99% chance you will get one factor from here. Solve and get the answer. So x is equal to 2 integral value and second value is minus 2 plus root 3. And agar aap isko dekho ge, to ye kya hoga? Minus 2, that one is nothing but negative terms. This one is negative terms. So are we getting any other answer or not? No. So the answer of this question is this one. So this one is all about our question. Ab dekhte hai ki aapne sikha hai ya nahi sikha hai. To mein aapse bolta hoon, aap please isko use kijiye. Apne learnings mein involve kijiye aur apna best dijiye. And answer of this question is true because ye bhi aapka negative hai, ye bhi negative hai. So do negative to arithmetic mein time and work mein dikhta nahi hai. So this one is all about multiple concepts in one question. And kabhi bhi agar ishtakko question dikhe, to think about perfect number equal to one. So this one is about Today's learning. I hope you learned something. If you have any doubt, rewind video again or post your doubts in the comment box. God bless you. Happy learning and bye-bye.